Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Some of you may have seen the video that I published uh, a little bit earlier, FT8 on an iPad. And in that video, I kind of showed FT8 running on the iPad, but I didn't give a lot of explanation or instructions as to how I did that. So I wanted to do this video today to uh, give a bit more insight as to how that worked. All right, so let's jump right into it. Now I'm using the signal link to interface my radio to the computer. So the first thing I'll need to do, and many of you will as well, is install Pulse Audio. So that command is sudo apt-get install Pulse Audio. And we'll go ahead and let that run and get that installed. All right, now that that's finished up, let's just clear the screen and let's head over to SourceForge so that we can go ahead and download the FT8 software. All right, we'll go ahead and grab the Release Candidate software. So let's click into that folder and I'll leave a link to this web page uh, in the description below. And let's look for the one for ARM HF. And we'll just right click and copy that link address head back over to terminal and we'll use the wget command and paste that address now for some reason it's getting this download right here when I copy and paste that so we'll just take that download off we don't need that uh, and leave the rest of it go ahead and grab that file from the web server all right so now you can see the file listed here I'm gonna go ahead and copy that file name and let's use dpackage dash i and paste the file name oh you will need to run this as a super user so let's give it sudo in front of that All right, now this is what I expected. So it looks like we've got some dependency problems that we need to work out. Uh, one of the simplest ways to work that out is to run the next command, which is sudo app dash dash fix dash broken install. And let that run, and that should take care of uh, grabbing the dependencies that we need to finish up the install. All right, that should wrap up for all of the dependencies that we need. So let's go ahead and try to install the package again. All right, looks like that got it. So we'll just minimize this. And I'm just going to double check and make sure that... Yep, right there it is. Perfect, under sound and video this time. All right, so we need to do a quick reboot before we do anything else. As soon as the reboot is done, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, now that the reboot is complete, we need to run one more command before we start the FT8 software. And that is uh, start dash pulse audio. Dash X11. All right, once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of your terminal and let's start that software. Now you'll notice uh, this warning here. This is because I've uh, downloaded the release candidate software. If you download the latest stable version, you wouldn't get this. But I'm going to just go ahead and click OK, knowing that it will no longer work after October 31st. All right, so we need to head up to File and Settings. And go ahead and enter your call sign here and your grid square in this box. Then let's head over to the audio tab. All right, and it looks like it's already selected. Well, that was kind of odd. Okay, so let's choose the input USB audio codec for our input. And the output uh, will be the output from the audio, USB audio codec. 
Let's go ahead and click OK. And that should have us up and running. All right, so that's it. That is completely set up and ready to go. So let's head over to the iPad and see what it looks like there. All right, taking a look at the radio, you can see that we're on 7038.6. Now, I did not set up cat control for this radio right now, simply because I don't have that cable up here on this test box. But let's go ahead and take a look at the software running on the iPad. Now, in case you missed... Uh, the video on how we're getting this software to show up on the iPad. I'll leave a link to that uh, right up at the top so you guys can check that out. Uh, and for the testing today, I'm just going to run the whisper mode. So I've already set the mode to whisper and I'm going to enable transmit and tell it to transmit next. And then after that is done, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the web and see where all the signal was heard at running 5 watts uh, over 40 meters. Alright, so we're over at whispernet.org and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and update that for 40 meters and go ahead and enter my call sign over the last 10 minutes and we'll click on update. Zooming in you can see over 40 meters uh, in the middle of the day. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon when I'm recording this. And you can see that it was heard pretty much uh, all over the eastern half of the United States. And uh, even one station out uh, a little further to the west in Utah. All right, guys. Hope this helps you get uh, FT8 and Whisper up and running on your iPad. And we will see you guys on the next video. 7-3.